Somebody has to speak. And if I am the one to speak, I will speak. I will tell the truth. I fear no man but God. I just want to do truth. I like truth. I have noticed that Nigerians, we have moved on politically. We have moved on. We have accepted what has become. On one side of our mouth, we say we did not want Muslim, Muslim tickets. We shouted it all. We jumped all. We said everything. We don't want Muslim, Muslim ticket. And then on another side of our mouth, we have accepted it and we are going on. So I came to say, no, we can't accept it. This government is still Muslim, Muslim. And so some of you have just collected it. You are even happy to be, you are wishing that somebody you know will be made ministers. Ministers over what? Ministers over illegality? Ministers over illegality? You saw how these people became, they, they won, quote and unquote. They didn't win. You saw how, while to the Lord the thing was being tallied, they had announced, and they said, go to court. So we are in court. Why are you, why have you passed? Why have you stopped saying the same thing? Why are we not standing and saying, no, no, my, contrary to evidence, we will stand. Contrary to what is being done, we stand on what we believe. The prophecy was that there will be a new Nigeria. Is there a new Nigeria now? Is there a new Nigeria now? Is what we are seeing what we prayed for? No, this is not what we ordered for. The fact that you have stopped praying amazes me. The fact that you have stopped confessing amazes me. Abraham believed to the end. Even as his body was dying, he believed. So they have brought up ministers, they are doing, I still don't believe, I refuse to accept it. I will not accept it because that is not what we prayed for. That is not what, we, that is not what they promised us. They promised that we have, they have the, thing, the result was going to be done a certain way. It came out a certain way. And Christians have accepted it. They are clapping. They are going on as if it's okay. If Muslim ticket was wrong yesterday, it cannot be wrong. It cannot be right today. It will not be right tomorrow. He said, but pastor, we're afraid. Afraid of what is our country. Everybody has a right to live here. It's our country. This madness must stop. What is this? The same old people. Look at the ministers. And we are okay with it as long as one of our person is there. It's not about one of our person. It's the fact that right must be right. We must do the right thing. This, we cannot, this kind of governance cannot continue. So we stand rejecting this government. We reject it. We reject the Muslim Muslim government. We reject it. I reject it. Mutuatun, the death is one. What is this? I'm just I'm surprised that Christians have accepted this. We are going on. I don't see resistance. I don't see us saying, no, we reject this. We stand. Everybody is quiet. Oh, I refuse to be quiet. I refuse to be quiet. This is wrong. It was wrong yesterday. It will be wrong tomorrow. As long as it's Muslim, Muslim ticket. You know, the politicians have studied us. They know us. They, know, they will just make noise. They will just make noise. After a while, they will accept it. If we just, they, I'm sure they're telling us, uh, themselves, let's just hold on. Let's just hold on. They will give up. I pray that this generation doesn't give up. We must not accept this. Don't tell me that they won. What did they win? How did they win? There was no winning. They took it, they grabbed it, and they ran with it. And when somebody takes it and runs, you run after it and collect it. What is that? They took it, they grabbed it, we will collect it back. You say, Pastor, what can we do? We can pray every day. Every day I put my knees on the ground. And I say, Father, this government, is. we reject it. He said, that's never been done. There's always a beginning. There's nothing God cannot do. There's nothing prayer will not change. Our God is a God of justice. I was hoping that Christians would be up and praying for the judges and keep saying the same thing. I wonder how many people are praying. That's how we keep accepting it. But in our lifetime, in my lifetime, I will see a new Nigeria. I will see a better Africa. One of the African leaders went for a meeting. He was asking, where am I? What am I doing here? Is there, they, they were telling him what to say, but he is completely out of it. But he is there. He's been there for over 40 years. And he has set up his child to take over from him. What is this? They went for the meeting. They were, saying, they, they, they were telling him, say this. He would say, hey, is that all? Is there something else? Because his mind is not there. By the way, what will not happen? We are not going to war with Niger. We reject it in the name of Jesus. We reject it. There will be no war. Niger will solve their problems. Let Nigeria solve their problems. Let us solve our Boko Haram problems first.